Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Take a deep breath in. Count to three, then blow it out. Did you know the air you just breathed in was made possible because of trees? Our Earth is home to at least three trillion trees. Trees are all around us and can be found on every continent except Antarctica. But what is a tree? A tree is just a tall plant. They have a woody trunk and branches. Trees can live for many years. The four main parts of a tree are the roots, the trunk, the branches, and the leaves. The parts of the tree all play an important role. The roots carry nutrients and water up the trunk and branches to the leaves of the tree. They also hold the tree in place so it doesn't topple over. The trunk is the main body of the tree. The trunk is covered with bark which protects it from damage. Branches grow from the trunk. They spread out much like the roots so that the leaves can get more sunlight. Leaves appear in nature in a variety of colors, shapes, and sizes. The leaves of a tree contain a special chemical called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is responsible for the green pigmentation of the leaves. Chlorophyll is necessary to trap the energy from the sun's rays. With the help of the chlorophyll, the leaves of the tree take in sunlight. The energy from the sun is combined with carbon dioxide and water and nutrients from the soil to make sugar so that the tree can grow and reproduce. This process is called photosynthesis. During the process of photosynthesis, oxygen is produced, which the tree expels, and humans and other living things depend on this oxygen. When we breathe out, we provide the trees with carbon dioxide. And when the trees breathe out, they provide all living things with oxygen. We all need each other. We need the trees to maintain a healthy environment. Trees can grow for a very long time. To tell the age of a tree, scientists usually look at their growth rates. As most trees grow, they lay down new wood around the old wood. This happens on a yearly basis. If you count the number of rings on a cross-section of a log, like is pictured here, you can estimate the age of the tree. The cross-section of a tree can also tell about the weather conditions of years past, as well as if the tree has been in a fire. Now let's talk about the groups of trees. 
trees are grouped based on how they reproduce. Reproduce means to make more of themselves. For the purpose of this video, we will discuss three main groups. Tree ferns, conifers, and broad-leafed or flowering trees. Some trees reproduce with spores. They are called tree ferns. Other trees reproduce with seeds. Some seed-bearing trees grow their seeds in cones. They are called conifers. Other seed-bearing trees grow their seeds in fruits or pods. They are known as broad-leafed or flowering trees. Here are some examples of the groups of trees. Tree ferns, conifers, flowering trees. Let's take a look at the life cycle of an oak tree. Stage one of the life cycle starts as an acorn seed. The seed must be planted in nutrient-rich soil to grow. Stage two begins once the acorn germinates. The seed is now called a sprout. In stage three, the tree is called a sapling. The tree is very young with a few leaves and a slender trunk. Stage 4 is called an adult tree. By this point, the tree looks like the oak tree we all know. It has lots of leaves, has started producing acorns, and has a strong, solid trunk. Let's review. Here are the words we use to describe the various stages of an oak tree's life cycle. Stage 1. Acorn. Stage 2. Sprout. Stage 3. Sapling. Stage Four, adult oak tree. So you might be wondering, how do trees reproduce? Some trees depend on outside factors like wind, animals, and gravity to spread their seeds and spores. When the wind blows, it can sometimes cause the spores of a tree to be blown off the tree, and when they land in a new place, they have the potential to grow into a new tree. Animals like bees, hummingbirds, ladybugs, and squirrels help the trees by moving pollen around and by burying their seeds. Some trees are helped by gravity as it pulls the seeds downward, they will eventually fall to the ground. Here is a quick fun fact. Located in California's White Mountains in the United States of America, the world's oldest tree is said to be the Great Basin Bristlecone Pine. It is believed to be approximately 5,000 years old. Time for another fun fact. 
common in China, Laos, and Vietnam, one of the fastest growing species of trees is the Empress Splendor. Trees are an important part of our world. They provide food and shelter for many creatures. They also provide oxygen, something all living creatures need to survive. Furthermore, trees are needed to regulate the climate of our planet and they help to reduce erosion or the washing away of soil wherever they are. Humans depend on trees for wood. They use the wood to make furniture, to build homes, and even to make paper. Trees also provide a natural playground for curious children to play. Trees are amazing. They are very important to our planet and we need to do more to ensure they are around for many more years. Every year, approximately 15 billion trees are lost due to habitat destruction. The removal of trees can affect the environment negatively. We can help by planting a variety of trees across the world as this will greatly benefit the environment. Thanks for coming along with me today and learning about trees. Let's work together to save our beautiful planet and to preserve the trees. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.